G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode where we're restoring a 46 foot John Pugh motor sailor. So last week we stopped halfway through fitting out the mock-up interior. Um, that's because we felt that it was too enclosed, we we're losing too much space and we weren't quite happy with the overall effectiveness of, of the interior. So we put it out to everyone and we got a ton of good feedback from everyone. Um, a lot of good points, some stuff we didn't consider and some stuff that we did. Um, some of them were just, you know, maybe having a, a split level floor, so one at this level and then maybe where this couch section is, lowering that and um, that gives us the headroom here but doesn't alter too much of the storage and uh, alt function of the boat. Um, that was seriously considered, uh, that was something that we thought very hard on. And then uh, some people suggested put window, lowering the floors, put windows in, they were great ideas. Um, some people said um, to just leave the nav, nav station up high so we still look out the windows while navigating. Um, one thing that I mentioned on that is we probably won't use a nav station as in a nav station. Um, I'm not going to get out rolls of uh, maps and plot with my little uh, instruments to work out my course and which direction I should heading. Uh, that, that's not going to happen. We will have electronic um, chart plotters and satellite navigation. Um, we'll have all the electronics. Uh, I can pretty much say I'm never going to get a map out and look at it that way. So the nav station is more of a uh, computer laptop station where um, the wife can uh, get on her emails, check out online business, make sure there's no orders and go get out. Um, Kids can come in on the weekend if we're going out for a sale and they can get their homework done. Um, we can do some video editing while we're out. Um, that, that sort of stuff. That's what it's more like a computer desk rather than an app station. Um, so the ability to look out the windows um, for versus the comfortability, I think we decided to go more for comfortability of the boat. Um, so I am going to get started on lowering the floor. Um, and we can always just raise it back up again if we're unhappy with the final result. If we're like, oh, there's too much space, it's, it's too vast in here now, um, or um, we don't have enough storage um, and it just doesn't work, we can always raise it back up. Uh, the floor beams that have been put in here, they were never uh, painted, so they're fully corroded, really bad. Um, and Half, only half of the welding has been completed, so it might even just be better just to rip this whole floor out anyway um, and start again um, with new steel, uh, get it painted straight away, weld it properly. Um, so lowering the floor, it, it, it's not a big deal because the floor in here is not very great anyway and it'd take a lot of work to get it up to standard. It could just be easier just to put the new floor in. Um, so we're going to cut all this old floor out, see what it feels like lower um, and yeah we're going to get started on that because we can always raise it back up again.
So I finished taking all the floor out and I thought I'd just uh, show you guys that um, one thing when you're building a steel boat or any sort of boat is this has been fully welded all the way along. Now you might think that that's great because it's stronger that way but uh, it's only stronger for a little while. These should be stitch welded and then have a gap, no weld. Stitch weld, gap, no weld. So you don't end up with things like this where you've got massive amounts of corrosion in here because there's water pooling. There's nowhere for that water to go. Um, we've got water down here. So I do have to get up and I've got a, a big manhole up here, a big stun the roof. And the cover doesn't quite seal very well. So we get a little bit of rain coming. Um, and that's why we're getting a lot of corrosion along here because there's nowhere for the water to go. So when you weld a bit and you leave a bit, you then scallop out what's called a limber hole. Um, my work, we call them mouse holes. Um, so that any water pooling up in here will go down to that section and then there'll be another limber hole in here and then the water will go down in here until it gets to the bilge. Um, they haven't done this on this boat, they've just decided to seam weld every bit of it. So if we have a look at this one, no weld anywhere along this side. But we've got what looks like weld all along here. So they didn't weld this side, but what they should have done is just weld a little section, leave it, weld a little section, then scallop out a bit for a limber hole. So it's all water in here. Nowhere for the water to go. So well until it fills all the way up and spills over, that's not what you want. So it'll be a little bit of a task to uh, scallop them out. So what I'll probably end up doing is just drilling a series of holes through it and then put a little paint in there and uh, that'll allow the water to egress down into the bilge. Uh, we wanted to get all the water out of the bilge here. So we've got a fair bit in here. One of the quickest ways to do it is just with a cheap wet back. Well, just finished putting in the new temporary floor and the height isn't so bad. Come over here. So I've got my head just parallel with the bottom of the window. So I mean, I've got a lot more room between the floor and the bench. So when the bench top comes up to here, we've got a lot more room there. And if I really wanted to, then I could probably stand on my tippy toes, look out the windows. And that being said, this floor height will be a few inches higher because when I put the marine ply, it will be thicker marine ply and then we'll, put, we'll have another 
half inch of uh, timber over the top of that. Uh, so this is going to be just slightly higher. So someone tall like myself could probably still see out the windows on their tippy toes. Uh, that's not ideal, but that's uh, what we got. Um, we are modifying these windows, so push comes to shove, I can make them a little bit deeper um, or lower them down a bit. Um, we are going to be changing them out. So I'm going to bring in some furniture and see what it feels like with the uh, just boxes that we made up for uh, the saloon seating and make up a bench top to see how it feels. Doesn't that just feel so much more roomier? So I've got heaps of room here between me and the bulkhead there. And this will probably move a couple of inches back. So because of the curvature of the hull, uh, this might move a little bit back, but we do want the backrest to go on and a little shelf here. So this might actually be the right position. But as I get up, I can't even get close to knocking my head. So that's good. So I'm going to try and set up the kitchen bench along here. It's one of my recent purchases, just to make it a little bit easier. That's uh, just a, a digital disto, so basically it tells you the distance. You might be able to see on my page there a little laser beam bouncing back and forth and each time it bounces it reads the distance and that's saying it's 260 millimeters away from the back edge so basically i can point it at the hull there and it says that's uh, two point something meters so this one is a little bit more expensive than some because of the accuracy uh, this is accurate under a millimeter um, of accuracy over 30 meters uh, it's not the best one, you can get some that are accurate under a millimetre over 100 metres, but you got to get what you can afford. So I'm just going to measure up some of the kitchen bench and uh, start cutting uh, a bench to get a feel of the height. So if I'm here cooking something and this is pretty nice height and uh, we've got plenty of room here, um, I can reach in fairly well. This is getting pretty close and we will have a, a liner on here so this position may be brought out a little bit um, but there'll be probably a drop down um, cupboard here like an overhead cupboard still giving us this much bench space and the cupboard's only protruding a couple hundred mil and then gives you all this viewing spot so if the cupboard comes down to here your, your angle that you can view is still all the way to the back of the bench and I mean this is a pretty comfortable height nice and deep it's um it's not not too bad um, we may give in to the wife and make it a little bit wider by bringing it out another 100 mil. Get your face away from this uh, wall here. And um, what we may look at doing is I've set this up ready to make it, but I might have to wait for the wife's input. But basically, if I bring this out to here, it could give us a little bit of a, a wrap around. Um, so we've got to be sort of parallel with our companion way because we'll put a little bit of a, a bulkhead in there 
and uh, so this will probably come out a little bit more um, but we could we could look at having a bit of an L shape there so get you end up with a little bit of a dead space in the corner here um, I'm not sure if that gives you more bench space or less because you can't stand here and use that bit of bench but you're gaining it's probably not gaining much but it's an option uh, other than that got a pretty long kitchen there uh, so that's from that post there um, we will cut this we'll cut this along there basically we want the kitchen to come up with that stringer and then from there back is 2.25 meters to that bulkhead and uh, cupboards underneath overhead cupboards under here and then all bench space um, probably a sink and in this back corner we'll have an oven um, because we may utilize something up here or under here for extraction um, all of that being said we could have a pipe going underneath uh, into the motor room and out the exhaust for extraction a um, few options um, but that's not too bad so when you look at it overall we got a lot more space the way we were going to have to have it was this bench starts here and comes out and then also this couch would have to have started here and then come out um, so we will have an l-shaped couch along there to that compression post and then a table I'm trying to talk to wifey Davin a couch that comes out here so you got all the way around the seating and an extra spot on the table then between that door and the bulkhead we'll have an upright fridge and an upright freezer with a bench stop over the top and a little coffee station there so I think it's a pretty good idea to lower the floor at the moment not seeing too many negatives that's the end of this week's episode uh, we didn't get very far because we're basically back where we finished off last week but much happier with this layout it actually feels like it feels like it's the right size now it's like i feel like i'm not in a boat i feel like i'm in a big room like at home um, in a small place um, it feels comfortable and not worried about crashing into anything anymore uh, I feel like I've got heaps of room between me and the kitchen uh, which is where the camera is and there'll be a table here and there's still heaps of room to go around so I'm pretty happy um, one good comment that did come up uh, from last week's video that uh, is quite relevant is we've dropped the floor and the companionway stairs are actually uh, they are quite long um, I don't see it's going to be an issue, but what it will mean is that we've got to put a lot more thought into the steps. They're going to have to be deeper, so you get more stability going up and down. The angle is going to be greater, so they're going to stick out just a little bit more. Um, and we're really going to have to put some thoughts into it, maybe put in the handrail to make sure you know, it's a long way up and down. We're going to have to make sure people are safe. Um, but the sacrifice we're making there uh, I think really is worth lowering the floor and getting that extra meter of beam space. So yeah, we do read all the comments and uh, we try and answer the ones we uh, know how to answer. Um, and so keep bringing the comments. Um, yeah, they've been very, very helpful, especially in the last week's episode. Extremely helpful. Um, can't stress that enough. Like all the points, uh, every one of them were valid and helped us in our consideration process. So 
keep them coming. Uh, we're loving the feedback and it's helping us with our build. Um, so next week we're probably going to have a, a nice big announcement that we're going to uh, tell everyone. So keep watching and tell us what you think. Thanks guys.